Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are so, so well. Today I am gonna be filming my first favorite video, favorite video? My first favorite video. Today I'm gonna be filming my first favorites video of 2018, my January favorites. I love these. I know some people find them a bit like repetitive, but I personally really enjoy having these to look back on to see what I've been loving throughout the year, etc. And also I just love finding out about products that people love. So I'm gonna be showing you five beauty favorites, five fashion favorites, and uh, a few songs and TV shows and stuff like that at the end. And um, that's kind of the format I'm gonna do this year. I wanna incorporate more fashion into my favorites. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so my first beauty favorite is a huge one. It is something that I've heard people rave about so often, but I've never tried myself until it was on offer and I bought it and I haven't looked back since. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the shade Yielded Honey. This is the most beautiful highlight ever. You can see I've got a lot of use out of this and I've only had it a month, but it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and it is the most amazing highlight. Loads of you guys have been asking me about what highlight I've been wearing on my Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It will be written on the screen if you would like to go follow me. I highly, highly recommend it. You kind of get the first view and the first scoop of like everything I'm talking about here on my Instagram and I love Insta stories as well. So go follow me on Instagram, cheeky little plug. I have been getting so many questions about what I'm wearing on my cheeks and it has been this basically every single day. Um, it's a gorgeous kind of light true gold and I absolutely love it. And it's really small so it's great for traveling. The next product has been a bit of a lifesaver for me recently. I have had some issues with my skin. I've been breaking out again. It's that time of the month and I always break out the week before my period because my skin is riddled with hormones. <laughs> I did an evening routine um, a few weeks ago and a lot of you commented that my skincare is all very expensive and I completely agree, I 100% agree, a lot of it is expensive. I've been looking for some cheaper alternatives to talk about on my channel because I know that not everyone can afford a crazy expensive face oil. So Freedom actually sent me a huge, huge box of products to try and they were like, just let us know which ones you like and we would love to work with you talking about them. So I've been trying loads of Freena products over the past month and the first one that has really kind of made an impact on my skin is the Freedom Fast Track. This is a rapid action formula to visibly reduce redness and spot size. So what I've been doing with this recently for the past few weeks now, most of January, I've been doing my regular cleansing routine but I have been incorporating a few other Freedom products which I'll talk about later on. I want to give them a little bit more time to play with them first and see how they work with my skin. I apply a dot of this onto my blemishes before bed and I wake up and my spot looks smaller. And the claim is that it works in three hours to make your spots look smaller. My next beauty favorite of the month has been a pair of lashes. I have always been someone who finds a pair of lashes and then sticks with them for ages. Like I don't tend to change up my lashes all that often because when I find ones that suit my eyes, I like to stick with them. Um, I decided that I wanted to branch out and try some new lashes. So I went on to Beauty Bay and I have tried a few Lily lashes in the past and I love my Lily lashes. So I thought I'd try another pair. And these are the Lily lashes in the style Mykonos. They are faux mink lashes. They do make real mink Mykonos lashes, but I choose to wear faux mink because I don't agree with mink lashes personally. It's just my opinion. But these are super bold, super intense, very very fluffy, um, they're really light on your eyes, like I can't feel them when I wear them. I can't feel them half as much as some other lashes which don't even look as big, it's very strange. Super flattering and really intense and I love them. Okay, my favourite lip product of the month is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I've loved Pillow Talk lip liner for years and years and years in fact mine is completely run out so for i think it was christmas it was either christmas or my birthday no it was my birthday so for my birthday tim bought me the pillow talk lipstick it says it's swatched here it is like a beautiful kind of mid-toned i'm actually wearing it right now it's like a mid-toned movie pink and it's just got such a soft 
finish. It's not matte, it's not creamy, it's just like a satin, kissable looking lip. It's amazing. Sorry if anything moved, I had a full memory card. The packaging is really luxurious and beautiful and I feel really like nice get, get like getting this out of my bag and applying it. So yeah, definitely my favorite lip color. I'm wearing like a super, like barely any mascara kind of look because I feel like this lip is just, it lifts your complexion enough for you to just make it the focus of your makeup. Like I've gone for like blush and lip today because my eyes are feeling a little bit sensitive because I've been wearing fake lashes so often. So I've just gone very light on the eyes. And my final favorite beauty product this month has been the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. Mine's a little bit dirty because it's kind of that NARS packaging that's like rubbery, but not rubber. It's very weird. So it gets really sticky really easily. But this is the most beautiful palette. Like, look at these shades. Like, the quality of these shadows are, they are insane. Like, look at that. They're just rich, like, rich with pigment. These are three of the shimmers. Look at that. Amazing, amazing. And then I'll swatch three of the mattes for you. And then those are three swatches of the mattes. So you can see the colour payoff and the pigment. I need to wipe this off, otherwise I'm just... I need to wipe otherwise I will get it all over my top. <laughs> the pigment is so rich, the shades are stunning, it's got beautiful warm tones which you guys know is mm, my fave. <laughs> and the fact that they come with those really intense um, almost metallic shades makes this palette super wearable and usable because you can do daytime looks, they've got the warm browns and the light shades but they've also got these deeper colours so that you can take this into evening and nighttime. So you can use this every single day and I have been basically all month. I highly recommend it. It's always going on sale on Beauty Bay. So I'll link it down below and um, it might be on sale. But if it's not, I would pay the full price. I really, really love this palette. So those are my makeup favourites. Now on to my fashion favourites from this month. So the first one is actually on my head. <laughs> Hats in general. I kind of go through phases where I wear hats. Um, I've got my beautiful, like... <laughs> camel coloured one that I wore in a recent video. This is my current favourite. This one's just from Topshop. It's like a leather look one, which is gorgeous. I also have this pink beret that I really love. So yeah, hats, but particularly this Baker Boy cap. It's just so easy to wear. I find some of them make my head look a bit funny, whereas this one is just a really flattering shape. It's quite big, but it doesn't make my hair kind of stick to my head like other ones do because it's black it goes with everything but because it's leather it gives it a little bit more sass you know so this hat is one of my favorites this month my next fashion favorite is something that has been getting a lot of attention on my instagram recently and it is these boots so I've been getting a surprising amount of wear out of these. I got these sent to me from River Island because I wanted them for Christmas party season because tell me these aren't a Christmas party boot. Just tell me. So I wanted to get them for that, but um, I didn't end up wearing them half as much as I thought I would. Um, I'm actually wearing them much more now because I style them with my other current favorite, which is my black flared Jamie jeans from Topshop, which I don't have with me because they're in the wash. So I'll just post a picture here of the two of them together. These peeking out from underneath the Jamie black flares looks, it's such a look, it just is. And I get so many compliments on them. They're so, so comfortable because the heel isn't very high at all. And they're just a statement and they're dressy without me having to wear heels because I will do everything in my power to avoid having to wear high heels. And I don't think they were too expensive. I will link them down for like, for low. <laughs> I'll link them down below. And then linking to that, the other favourite was my Jamie jeans from Topshop. Black flared Jamie jeans. They are really high-waisted. They are really good length. I usually wear a 30 leg, but I got them in a 32 just so they're a little bit longer on me. Um, so I can wear heels and they just kind of peak the toe. And they are unbelievably flattering. They make my legs look like they go on forever, which they really don't. I met a lovely girl the other day on Oxford Street and she was literally like, you're so much shorter than I thought you would be. I was like, everybody says that. Everyone thinks that I'm quite tall 
and I'm just not. I'm 5'3". Like, I am not really short, but I'm shorter than I think I appear on camera because you just see this much of me. And because I'm quite like a built individual, people assume I'm a bit more Amazonian than I am, but I'm not. There's some cool light coming through. Interesting. They make my legs look crazy long. They make them look really slim. They really accentuate my curves because obviously they flare out and then make your legs look slimmer and then go out to your hips. Kind of keep the hourglass thing going and I absolutely love them. They are just so wearable. I wear them on nights out. I wear them day to day. I love them with a converse. Massive favourite this month. Okay, my next fashion favourite is one that again was sent to me from River Island, which was very, very exciting. I am not the boldest with my handbags. I have a few kind of bright handbags, but I just don't tend to reach for them. And I always just go for my black leather bags. And I've got one, which is the um, Zara City bag, and then one which was from Skinny Dip, but I needed something that was smaller than my city bag because that's like got a laptop section in it. It's like a 15 inch bag. Um, and I wanted one that was bigger than my tiny little Skinny Dip one because I like to carry my vlog camera around and it makes it look bulky and kind of ruins the shape. So I wanted something in between. It is this bag here. It's really, really simple, which is what I love um, because it's just, basically all black but again it's got two different textures it's got like a suede fabric on the top and then faux leather on the bottom it's actually a bit sticky because i went out last night and i had a cocktail spilt all over it sorry if it looks a little bit worse for wear the hardware is all gold um it says river island on the front but then another reason why i love it um is because it's got a long strap and half of the strap is like a tan color and then the other half is black it doesn't really clash it goes with everything basically it's also great because it's completely closed and completely secure so there's a zip here and then this is a pocket and this is a pocket so i separate all of my stuff and i always know where everything is rather than just a big void that is a handbag and it's got a cute little tassel which i love so this is the perfect perfect size for a day-to-day -day handbag and i absolutely love it so yeah if it's still available i will link it down below for you okay my final fashion favorite of the month is one that's again got a lot of attention on my instagram and i've worn this to death to death to death this is my um teddy coat obviously teddy coats are massive at the moment it goes with everything it's got fluffy lined pockets the material is inside the pockets as well which is amazing because i get really cold hands and i just love the shade it's not too cream it's not too beige it's not too camel not too tan it's just like a nice kind of cool toned um what would you call it like teddy bear color it's literally teddy color this one is from urban outfitters there's loads 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 available um but i love it because it's kind of got this aviator jacket kind of collar to it and it just feels really well made i think that it is worth the price i've got so much wear out of this everyone compliments me everyone just wants to give me a hug um so yeah i'll link it down below for you if it is again if it's still available because it's my baby and i love it so so much and i've just realized all of my fashion favorites basically were just described in this photo i wore them all together so this is my outfit of the month, apparently. Okay, I am gonna quickly play you a few songs. Now, if you're new here, you will um, not be prepared for this. I do an awkward, kind of ironic, lip syncing segment. And uh, if you find it uncomfortable to watch, you can go. <laughs> Let me think what my songs of the month have been. Oh, I've got a TV show of the month. End of the fucking world. It's been, it's got mixed reviews, but I personally, loved it i thought the acting was incredibly good i thought that the cinematography was amazing i loved the style i loved the music i really just loved it i loved it a lot um and i highly recommend that you watch it it's 20 minute episodes on netflix and it's great it's really really good it's basically about a boy and a girl it's kind of like a darker perks of being a wallflower like it's, it's i love kind of love stories that aren't really love stories um about like outsiders i guess you could say i recommend you watch it it's really good let me pick a couple songs oh 
I'll tell you what I've been listening to all month. I can't believe I didn't even think of this. So if you go onto YouTube and type in Jason Mraz live from the ranch, ranch, ranch. It's like live versions of his Yes album, which is by far my favorite Jason Mraz album. It came out years ago. These videos are from 2014. It's just a really intimate performance of loads of his songs from the album. And he's got three amazing women who play loads of instruments and they sing. And it's just a really great like energy, a really great vibe. Um, and I would have done anything to have been in that audience, honestly. My favorite has to be Shine. I also love Everywhere. This song is banging. If I was in a fly on the wall, I wouldn't know all about you, you, you. I'm everything in everywhere. If you breathe in all the subatomic, supersonic spaces in between, I'm everywhere. I'm ah, <sighs> so good. Okay. What else have I been loving? Ah, oh, so I've been talking about this on Twitter all the freaking time, but I'm so excited. Tim and I are going to see Crang Bin on, on Thursday. I'm so excited. I literally can't wait. I have quite a few favorites and they've just released a new album, which I've had, I've listened to quite a bit, but I haven't picked a favorite song yet. So I'm gonna play you some of my favorite old school Crang Bin songs. So the first one is called Two Fish and an Elephant and it's great. Hang on, my manager's calling me. Oh, amazing. All right, awesome. Beauty, bye. I love him. And then my all-time favourite has to be Dern Carla. Oh. I think that is everything. Do let me know down below your favorite song of the month. I always love to know um, so that I can find new music because I bloody love it. That is the end of my January favorites. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do let me know what you thought down below. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe. It would mean the world to me and I'd love it if you join my little family. Um, also follow me on my social medias. My Instagram and my Twitter are and my Snapchat are all linked down below, so make sure you go follow me there for more stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you have the best day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!